on the sidelines of the important uh, Russian, Egyptian, Russian economic meetings that uh, has happened on Egyptian soil, it's always an honor to have with us His Excellency, uh, Mr. Uh, Denis Mantorev, the Russian Minister of Trade and Industry. Thank you so much for being with us on ITV International. Thank you for inviting. And welcome to Egypt in the first place. Thank you. Excellency, talking about Egypt and Russia, a win-win situation and a win-win partnership, taking uh, uh, both countries uh, are both together hand in hand towards a new uh, era of cooperation. Tell us more about the outcome of the committee meetings and uh, how far about the mechanisms of applying what came in those meetings on solid grounds. First of all, the uh, relationship between our countries uh, starting from a long time ago and uh, the economic uh, cooperation, uh, especially industrial, started also uh, from the Soviet Union and uh, today we are uh, starting new, as you mentioned, era of the industrial cooperation, mm -hmm. especially in uh, machinery, in uh, pharmaceuticals, biotechnologies, uh, the nuclear energy, mm -hmm. as you know that uh, just in the end of last year, the Russian company Rosatom signed with Egypt uh, uh, to, to build a new nuclear plant in Egypt during uh, about six years time uh, and uh, it's it's a huge project actually it gives the synergy for many industries uh, locally placed in Egypt uh, of course we're expecting to ship and uh, to supply our equipment mm -hmm. and partly localized in Egypt and uh, we discussed about mm -hmm. establishing the uh, special industrial zone mm -hmm. near the Suez Canal. Yeah, and that, that's a real hit excellence, you know, we've been like waiting for uh, such a step and looking forward to, to it's been implemented on solid grounds. Tell us more about the features of this important project and uh, definitely there are short term the industrial, the industrial zone, zone yeah. Yeah. and short term goals for it and long term goals as well. Yeah. Last year we received uh, the proposal from the Egyptian side to, uh, to choose from uh, several places which was uh, shown to us and we, uh, we chosen two uh, industrial zones near Alexandria and uh, Port Said, the second one. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a uh, best choice which could be uh, for our industrial companies who are interested in the, um, placing their uh, manufacturing facilities mm -hmm. in uh, the industrial sector which I mentioned to you already in your first questions. I mean, it could be machinery, yeah. different sectors of machinery. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, especially for and the building of the, the uh, nuclear, nuclear the energy plant. Yeah. Uh, other factories uh, could use this facility to, to produce some sort of equipment which will be needed uh, to be placed there. So, as I mentioned, it will be uh, the synergy. Uh, I cannot tell that it will be very quick and very fast because it takes uh, certain procedures uh, to implement the law um, which uh, should be uh, uh, implemented in Egypt to receive certain um, benefits for industrial zone as a free trade zone so we are discussing about details mm -hmm. of these matters and I hope that we will mm -hmm. find the right solution which will give the benefit and attract and encourage our companies to, to come uh, to Egypt with investments. Right. It could be direct investments, mm -hmm. uh, it could be joint investments with the Egyptian companies. Mm -hmm. And we, um, uh, 
also using uh, sources from the Middle East partners, from Arab Emirates, from, uh, from Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. country, uh, to, uh, to use it as a source of additional investment uh, support for the joint projects which are in the pipeline now, now in discussion. Right. Uh, Excellency, we're talking about more than one project and more than one field. And uh, if we're going to talk uh, uh, further about new horizons of cooperation and also in vocational training, I guess we had also uh, another memo that uh, uh, was signed uh, with uh, the Russian Investment Fund. Mm -hmm. So tell us more about uh, uh, this, uh, the fund and the contribution and this sense of partnership. Uh, the Russian uh, Direct uh, Investment Fund, yeah. it's a government uh, fund uh, with the sources mm -hmm. which was provided by the Russian government. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this fund have a partners in the Middle East, as I mentioned to you, the Arab Emirates in Saudi Arabia. And, uh, and we discussed about the uh, possibility of uh, establishing a separate fund together with uh, with Egyptian uh, financial institutes, private mm -hmm. and the government. Uh, so the combination of these investment sources mm -hmm. will give the wider range of investments to the Russian and Egyptian partners uh, in different fields of industrial sectors because uh, we are, of course, most more interested in uh, establishing the industrial uh, cooperation and the industrial factories uh, which should be placed uh, in Egypt and, uh, of course, the infrastructural projects which gives uh, the chance for the companies to supply the equipment. Uh, tomorrow, I hope, uh, uh, will be uh, signed the memorandum between the uh, Egyptian tourist and airline company with uh, our uh, the industrial aviation corporation mm -hmm. uh, to supply our Sukhoi Superjet, mm -hmm. the civil aircrafts, 95 seaters. The memorandum uh, is about four uh, aircrafts plus six optional, and I hope it will be just the beginning of uh, such a project. And uh, this aircraft will be used for the local destinations, and uh, we are looking forward that uh, the Egyptian airline companies will be interested to buy our Russian uh, mm -hmm. uh, aircrafts for the wider range and longer range uh, because we uh, we are testifying now the new generation of, of aircrafts mm -hmm. 180 passengers MS-21 mm -hmm. which will be certified in 2018 so we are discussing about mm -hmm. these projects as well uh, to, to start the supplying in 2019 and maybe the Egypt will be one of the first clients. Mm -hmm. Accompanying you, Excellency, we have the biggest um, uh, mega business delegation uh, visiting Egypt and uh, that's great because they see eye to eye with the uh, Egyptian businessmen more about luring investments that you, Excellency, are talking about. Uh, tell me more about their impressions concerning the uh, potential of the investment climate in Egypt and what, what sort of uh, incentives are present then on the table? You know, the investors uh, in all over the world, uh, they are trying to, to find and to reach the best benefits always, yeah. to, to encourage themselves to, to invest the money. Mm -hmm. And the Russian investors, as uh, you mentioned about our delegation, it's not the first trip because mm -hmm. last year mm -hmm. we already organized several business missions mm -hmm. by sectors mm -hmm. and our business um, looking forward uh, to to go uh, with 
their investments to Egypt and they're expecting of course for a certain additional benefits which we're discussing as I mentioned you about the, the industrial zone which can be a place of uh, localization mm -hmm. of the benefits for our industrial companies right. but in general I would say the uh, the mechanisms of uh, the inviting of the investors mm -hmm. in the, generally the investment climate in Egypt are quite positive and I would say it it gives mm -hmm. the chance for our companies to come to Egypt when they invest. Right. Since the latest meetings between President Abdel Fattah Sisi and Russian President Putin, we've seen more uh, reflecting on the volume of trade between both countries. So the aspirations for the increase of the volume of trade in the coming stage, how it reflects, and uh, we always say that the sky is, is the limit. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, of course, the trade is one of the indicators uh, always in the economies. But uh, today we're discussing more about the joint projects with which should give the additional trade turnover. Because just a trade to trade, um, it's not uh, the main indicator, the main, not, not the main indicator mm -hmm. in an economies. Mm -hmm. Now, every country uh, like to, um, to make the additional value in their countries. And we are um, willing to do it and expecting that Egyptian investors will, uh, will come to Russia and it will be a win-win situation that uh, what you mentioned in the beginning of our interview. I thank you very much, Excellency, Minister of much. Trade and Industry in Russia, Denis Mentorov. Thank you so much for being on MALTV International. We're always looking forward to this sense of partnership. Egypt and Russia always forward ever. Thank you, Excellency, for being here. Thank you very much for inviting me. Thank you.